Tech Talk Delivering Happiness here at South by Southwest. We are talking to Morris Panner from Group Flyer. Group texting is hot right now, and we're really excited to talk to you. So can you just kind of share what you kind of do day to day? What's Group Flyer all about? Absolutely. Thanks, Frank. It's great to be here, and South by Southwest is a great event. And it, em, it's emblematic of why group texting makes so much sense. It's a way of staying in touch with people, and for us also organizations and communities. Our inspiration was this, was how do you get people together, and how do you get them to interact together? For me, entrepreneurship is actually a very political thing. It's how I contribute back to the community and the country. I've had a passion for politics my whole life, and entrepreneurship, oddly enough, is where that expression's found, found root. I'm inspired by people who do things that are difficult, and I think that people who overcome tough odds uh, inspire me. And that's why I think entrepreneurship is a good fit, because if you're an entrepreneur, the odds are long, and I think that that's part of what gets me going. What I'm passionate about right now is entrepreneurship as a way of getting this country back and energized. I think one of the um, passions that I have is uh, patriotism and how do you turn what you do day to day into building your community and your country and that's what entrepreneurship is for me. I think over the next five years you're going to see communication explode and you're going to see ubiquitous communication and information make people's lives better. South by Southwest is a great example. People walk around with devices in their hand and they figure out what they want to do and where to go on the fly. That experience is going to keep getting richer and it's going to make everybody's lives better. There's no question that the digital revolution writ large is what makes the day incredible. We were talking a little bit about what happens when the internet goes down your life kind of goes down a big part of it and that's really what has made all this possible so to imagine the digital revolution is really a fantastic thing it's interesting I think failure is emblematic of entrepreneurship and they say the highs are high and the lows are lowers failure is really um, happens every other day in entrepreneurship and you just get up some days and it's so bleak because you lost a big contract or it's pretty clear to you that you're not going to make what you'd hoped you were going to be able to do that really hurts and you look at other people who are walking around doing sort of jobs and you think to yourself why aren't I doing a job why am I doing this because my job just went away and those kinds of failures day in and day out are what makes being an entrepreneur hard you don't have that steady it also makes it exciting because then when you overcome it you feel great but it's being able to plug through those kinds of day-to-day -day things that hit you over the head do it in other words I, I don't think you can um, program it out and I think uh, for me what sustains me is I really feel like it's a contribution I don't feel like it is uh, an effort to chase money uh, it's not, I think, the easiest way to make money. Uh, it's not, unfortunately, but I think it's the easiest way to make a difference, and I think a lot of people are motivated by that, more people than would ordinarily say that, and everybody says, I'm interested in having a lot of money. I, I don't think that really motivates very many people, and I think entrepreneurship is going to be a very meaningful life, and if you hold on to that and don't measure yourself by things like money, you're going to have a very, a very happy time, even as sometimes you're failing.